Hi loves, welcome to the Rainbow Love community. I'm Christian Everett and I'm an energy flow director assisting humanity and directing their flow of energy to their highest potential. On Wednesdays, we like to talk about the spiritual community, star beings, awakened beings, anyone, anything, concepts that have to do with uh, spiritual community at whole of, on YouTube, on Instagram, etc, etc. So I just want to come on here real quick uh, to talk about what I'm picking up with spirituality and the spiritual community right now and what is coming through all the the information is if you do not have a spiritual community either create one or join one like right now is imperative to to understand to be connected to uh someone that is spiritual someone who is trying to guide you or someone who is just like me um experiencing the reality of our ascension process right now due to the fact that uh, there's a lot of deception misinformation there's a lot of uh, distractions and noise and having someone or having a community or communities right could be plural you could be in many uh is imperative right now it's really imperative all the individuals that i have uh, like I'm watching on Instagram or on YouTube, they are either spiritual leaders, public figures, um, people who are trying to assist humanity in the ascension process. <sighs> Sorry about that, loves. Uh, and either they have created their own spiritual community or they're in the process of creating their own uh, spiritual community. Um, that's the Rainbow Love community. Or they are uh, in a uh, spiritual community. I know that there's this one guy. Oh my God, there's like two new spiritual people who are coming up on the scene on Instagram. That is really interesting because he's creating a spiritual community. And then on he goes on Instagram live. And then uh, he brings people up. So they talk about their spirituality, their process, their healing process, their ascension process. Uh, with the entire community, which is really, really cool. Uh, but with that being said, I do not want you loves to get lost, right? The idea, the 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 intention behind, well, from, for me, I don't want to tell you what you should. If this resonates with you, I'm grateful uh, because it reminds me of where I'm at, et cetera, et cetera. But a spiritual community is therefore to support you in your spiritual adventure, in your ascension or spiritual awakening. Meaning that when you're going through, let's say, a lower vibrational transmutation, right? You are releasing this, this thought patterns that no longer serve you. And you're a little bit confused. You kind of have a bit of attachment. Your spiritual community will give you that support so you can go access that community and see what uh, resources they have for you uh, in regards to that experience, right? Um, that That's, uh, yes, but at the same time, do not get lost, right? Meaning that do not allow other people to influence you or others, public figures, spiritual figures to influence you. Thus saying that if you do not, if you can't, find a way to figure out yourself and that's what the spiritual community is there for to, to assist you and guide you in that and one of the uh, if you didn't see the videos yesterday about the rainbow love community meditation is definitely a technique and something that i shared that's very valuable uh, for the spiritual awakening being or anyone who's in, even in the ascension process it's a it's a technique and a tool that it's very beneficial for the energetic transmutation and inner creation of new healing codes, light codes, etc., uh, etc., et high vibrational frequencies. And this is all in the Rainbow Love community. Hopefully in the Rainbow Love community, uh, you will find ways to learn your own meditation technique and to guide other individuals uh, in the Rainbow Love community or other spiritual communities that are connecting, trying to connect with Source, right? Because that's the idea. Uh, so there's like the spiritual community and then there's subcultures, right? And then the rainbow love community is a subculture of the spiritual community. Like, yes. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know I'm not, I shouldn't be talking about the rainbow love community, but it's definitely, uh, on my mind every day. Uh, I definitely, I'm trying to create, 
trying to embody a spiritual community to assist human hum, humanity as well as a collaborative uh, group of individuals who like art, fashion, music, uh, and uh, meditation. So on Sunday, I will have a live meditation for anyone who would be interested. I'll go check my personal Instagram. I also posted in the Rainbow Love community Instagram page for more information, but it will be on Sunday, uh, meaning if you're in America, that would be on your Saturday evening, probably most certainly. Uh, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, find a spiritual community. Right now, everyone is connecting to a spiritual community, but do not get lost, right? Uh, you know, it's like if you're going to church, right? If you want to go to church, if you want to find someone that's religious, then go to church. The idea is to connect with source. If there is a spiritual leader that does not talk about source or does not talk about God or uh, is not giving you information or, you know, sharing their authentic experience with God, that should be a red flag for you loves because uh, that's not their their main concern, right? Because I know there's certain spiritual YouTubers who talk about consciousness and yes, God is consciousness, but we have to remind ourselves that when we connect to consciousness, we connect, there's so many consciousness. There's third dimensional consciousness, there's fourth and fifth dimensional consciousness. When we're talking about connecting to God, we're talking about like that singularity, that... Um, that being who's all benevolent or like that source of infinite energy, that unconditional love, uh, that is what we're trying to uh, connect with. And sometimes when you're at a lower vibrational state of being, it's hard and you need a third party. That's where the spiritual communities will come in to help you, uh, to remind you and to consistently assist you in that. And that's what I kind of got in the spiritual community right now. Every time I'm like, I look at anyone on YouTube, they're they're talking about a spiritual community, they're creating their own, um, et cetera, et cetera, right? So definitely uh, stay tuned for that. Hopefully this creates some awareness uh, in your life, in your circle, and hopefully uh, you have a spiritual community. If you like to join the Rainbow Love community, it's really simple. You just have to type in on YouTube how to join the Rainbow Love community. It's really free. You just go sign up on the uh, Instagram page. You just go follow the Instagram page and... Um, Yay! We appreciate it and um, hopefully this message has given you some hope and faith in what uh, our ascension process with to God, to source, back to our original state uh, will bring us. So, all right, we'll see you later. Bye!